when we have longer queries to answer we will often find that there is more than one way to process that longer query in such circumstances we may want to choose that particular way of answering the query where we end up doing the least amount of work so query optimization is about optimizing how we answer a query speeding up how we answer a query when there are multiple ways to answer that query let's take a simple example of that suppose we have a query that is an and of t terms okay let's just say t is equal to 3 so we are taking three terms and adding them together so let's say the query had been Brutus and Calpurnia and Caesar. How do we answer this query? Well, as usual, we will look up the dictionary and extract the pointer to the postings lists of these three terms. And then we will do two AND operations to combine the postings lists or to intersect the postings lists into the final answer list. But in this example, there is more than one way to go about answering this query. For example, we could take the Calpurnia postings list, intersect it with the Caesar postings list, take the result of intersecting these two postings lists, and intersect it with the Brutus postings list. So we could evaluate Calpurnia and Caesar first and then add the result with Brutus. Another way to do it would be to take Brutus and Calpurnia first, add them together, and then add their result with the postings list for Caesar. A third way of doing that would be to take Brutus and Caesar and them first and then take the result and intersect it with the postings list for Calpurnia. So there are three ways in which we can answer this query. The question is which of th these three ways is the fastest? Suppose that these are the three postings lists for Brutus, Calpurnia and Caesar. By looking at these postings lists, can we figure out which of these three alternatives is going to require the least effort in terms of time? One thing we can notice here is that the Caesar postings list has just two values. Now if we take the intersection of Caesar with any other postings list, one thing we are guaranteed is that the answer list cannot be larger than 2 because the answer list has to contain elements of both Caesar and whichever other list you are taking the intersection of Caesar with. But because Caesar has only two elements, the answer list cannot be any larger than 2. If we take the Calpurnia list, and intersect it with some other list, what guarantees can we provide about the length of the answer list? Well, Calpurnia has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 elements. So we can say that the answer list will have a size less than or equal to 8. But if the answer list, if, if in one scenario the answer list has a size of 8 and in the other case it has a size of 2 and if that answer list is going to serve as an intermediate list in the processing of a larger query then when we take the intersection of that answer list with some other postings list we may end up doing more work with the answer list that is larger. What I mean here is suppose we calculate Brutus and Caesar first I know that the length of the postings list of the answer 
is going to be less than or equal to 2 because the Caesar list has a length of 2. On the other hand, if I take Brutus and Calpurnia first, I know that the length of the answer will be bounded from above. So the length of the answer here will be less than or equal to the smaller of the two. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This list is the smaller of the two. So we can say that the answer list will have a length of less than or equal to 7. Now which of these two answer lists is better for us to have? Do we want a list of length 7 for the second step? Or do we want a list of length 2 for the second step? Well clearly if we had a list of length 2 that would probably be more favorable in terms of time because when we intersect this list with the other list we can hope to complete that operation in a smaller amount of time because the amount of time required to intersect two lists is proportional to the sum of their lengths and because the length of this list is going to be smaller we shall hopefully end up taking less time via this route as opposed to this route. So what we are going to do is for queries like Brutus and Calpurnia and Caesar for queries that are the AND of T terms we are going to process the postings lists in order of increasing length putting it in another way we are going to process the terms or we are going to process the query in the order of increasing document frequency of terms recall that the document frequency of a term is the length of the postings list so we are going to take the two smallest postings list uh, the two smallest postings lists and we are going to intersect them first and then we are going to take the intermediate result and then intersect it with the larger postings list and because the intermediate results will be less than or equal to the length of the smallest postings list we are likely not guaranteed but we are likely to minimize the total amount of work if we follow this heuristic and this is why we stored the information about the document frequency of every term when we constructed the inverted index. That's why the indexer stores the document frequency alongside every term. Because before we before we start executing the query, we have to figure out which postings lists we want to intersect first. And if we are going to choose the smallest postings lists first, we need some way of figuring out which postings lists are the smallest. And if the postings lists are residing on, on, on the disk, we can't first retrieve all of them, check which of them is the smallest and decide to work with them. We have to first know which of the lists are smallest and then go and retrieve them. So if we store the document frequency information in the dictionary, the dictionary is usually stored in main memory, even when the postings list is stored on disk. So lo we'll look up every term in the dictionary, every term in the query in the dictionary and along with it we will also look up the document frequency of every term. The smallest pair of document frequencies will tell us which two postings lists to retrieve to do the first operation. So the document frequency serves as a guide for us to decide which postings lists we want to get next. In this particular example, the two smallest postings lists are Caesar, which is the smallest, and then Brutus. And so we will execute the overall query as Caesar and Brutus, and then add the result with Calpurnia.